Welcome back to your weekly Tiger Paws. I'm Randa Simpson. And I'm Callie Murphy. UWA published the updated graduation rates this week. We will bring you more on that story, but first. Attending college in Alabama makes it hard to hit the ski slopes, but the Office of Student Life has a solution for UWA students this winter. UWA students have the opportunity to attend a ski trip in Colorado during the winter break. Now to Brianna with more. UWA is hitting the slopes this winter on their annual ski trip. Students all over campus have started signing up. On the ski trip this year, we're going back to tell you about Colorado. This is the second year in a row we're going there. We had a great deal last year. We had a great time. So we decided to do a return trip there. We're not doing the pit stop in uh, the Grand Canyon this year, but we are getting two and a half days of skiing in this year. So it's an extra half day of skiing from last year. Total will be gone six days. We're leaving on the 12th, right after graduation. Um, depending upon if we have people that are graduating going, that depends on what time we're going to leave. Then we'll be back on the following Friday. If you're looking to sign up, you can either come and speak to me. I'm in Lion Hall, uh, room D119, or you can go to the Student Life Office and speak with Danielle Miller, um, and she'll be happy to sign you up there as well. Brianna Champion, Livingston, Alabama, Studio 96. Thanks, Brianna. This week, UWA released the Student Right to Know report that details the most recent graduation rates on campus. Caitlin has more on this story. UWA recently released the 2009 retention rates, which revealed that student athletes had a 13% higher graduation rate than the average student. We spoke with Mike Jones about their plans to further increase these numbers. Uh, we've also implemented a mentoring program uh, that has basically served to kind of be a little bit of an extension of mom and dad. We started with around 40 three years ago. That has grown now up to around 100 student athletes using the program. Being an athlete, you have requirements by the NCAA to achieve so many hours per semester. And by doing that and staying, keeping yourself eligible, time when you, when you finish out, you, you're pretty close to graduation. You gotta get them where they can see the finish line. If they can see the finish line when, they, when they're done with their playing career, often they'll go ahead and, and graduate. This is Caitlin Beard, Livingston, Alabama, Studio 96. Overall graduation rates for the 2009 freshman class was 28% which does not include transfer students. Also on campus, the UWA women's volleyball team fell short to Valdosta State over the weekend. The Tigers will play West Georgia this Thursday in a home game slated for 6 p.m. More in women's sports, the women's soccer team's record dropped to 10-4 after the first home loss to North Alabama on Sunday. The Tigers will take on West Georgia on Wednesday and will serve free pizza to fans in attendance. We know your rain boots had some mileage this past week. Now to Brooke with a look at what kind of weather we can expect for Halloween. The Halloween forecast is not ideal. Temperatures will remain mild in the mid to upper 70s, but rain is expected on Saturday just in time for trick-or-treating. The weekend forecast includes a chance of storms on Sunday with sunny skies returning next week. Now back to you, Callie and Randa. Thanks, Brooke. That's all the news we have for you this week, Tigers. Join us next week for an inside look into UWA's most recent Gulf South Conference Championship. I'm Callie Murphy. And I'm Randa Simpson, Studio 96.